Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. With spooky season, you know Halloween is coming up. So what we're doing is three looks, one video. Sounds like the start of a porno or something. I feel like doing a mask of makeup for Halloween is a really great way to save money on a costume. You can just go off with your artistry, you know, and wear whatever you want, because the focus will be right here. Speaking of makeup, mine's been on all day, so don't judge it. I'm gonna go wash this off and we will start fresh. I also already have pinned up my hair. It's kind of in two French braids and then wrapped around my head because I have a lot of extensions in right now. So I had to pin it as close to my head as possible to try and wear a wig and not look like I have a massive head. You know, the three looks that I have planned is kind of like a jokester. I was inspired by this picture right here. We're also gonna do a Kermit the Frog style mask inspired by this headband that YouTuber made right here. And then I thought it'd be cool to turn Kermit the Frog into a mask. I don't even know how it's gonna go. We'll see. The final look will be a jack-o'-lantern mask. And all of these I feel like vary in difficulty. So it doesn't matter what your makeup level is. I'm sure that one of these looks will be right for you and you'll be able to kill it for Halloween. No pun intended. <laughs> But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, turn on that notification bell. And without further ado, I'm gonna go wash off this mess and we will get started. Starting out fresh faced, you know we're ready for makeup. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation, but we only have to put it on the top half of our face, obviously, because the bottom half is gonna be safe for the face paint mask. This foundation is super long wearing, bomb for Halloween, because it won't budge on me when I'm sweating buckets on the dance floor. Just kidding, you know I'm gonna be at home eating candy by myself. Anyways, moving on to concealer, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics concealer in a couple shades lighter than my foundation, and that's just because I wanna keep it glowing Glam, you know, have a little bit of a brightened under eye. I recommend, you know, more medium to full coverage foundation if you're gonna have your makeup on for a long time for Halloween, trick or treating and all that. I don't know, whatever you do. And for bronzer, I'm using Urban Decay's Beach Bronzed in Sun Kissed and I'm only gonna apply this on my forehead. Give me a little bit of color, you know, still with the glam theme. And for brows, I'm using Urban Decay's Brow Beater Eyebrow Pencil. Wow, I'm using a lot of Urban Decay today. I didn't even realize. But it's a really precise tipped brow pencil. Those style of brow pencils are my favorite. I said that really weird, but you get what I'm saying. I'm gonna fill in my brows like normal. And honestly, I'm gonna speed through this makeup portion part of the video because y'all know the typical steps. It's nothing new. The focus is mostly gonna be on the face paint masks, the spooky masks we're about to create. But do you for the top half of your, of your face. This is just gonna be a little quick glam tutorial if you want. It. Next, speaking of nothing new, you know, I got my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I love this because it makes sure that your eyeshadow does not budge, it does not crease, and the colors will turn out vibrant AF. So don't skip out on an eyeshadow primer, especially if you want long wearing makeup. For eyeshadows, I'm using the Naked Honey Palette and going in with the shade Hive. It's a really nice, light, neutral color brown, and I'm going to dust that as a base color all over my lid using a big, fluffy blending brush. You want to take your time blending this baby out, make sure it's nice and soft and just put that all over your lid. I'm really just doing a neutral colored eye so then it can go with all of the masks we're doing, but you can take it upon yourself. Do your eyes as crazy as you want. Use color, depending on whatever mask you decide to choose, you can really tailor it to that, but I'm doing a cute neutral look today. Now going in with the darkest shade in the palette called Drip. We're gonna use this to deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna start at my lash line and then kind of just blend up and into the crease, creating a nice little gradient there. Again, taking my time, building the color and just making sure there's a seamless blend between the two of them. Y'all know the deal. Now going in with Queen. It's a beautiful bronzy shimmer shade and I'm using a fluffier brush to just dab that on and do a nice light layer so we get just a subtle glisten, you know? And that's basically all I did for eyeshadow. I just connected those shadows to my lower lash line as well. So now I'm just throwing on some mascara real quick and moving on to falsies. I've been loving this style called Paris from Lily Lashes. So we're applying those. They're super wispy, very full, but they're not too long. So they still look good on a smaller eye shape. And they're just gonna glam up this neutral kind of simple eye look that we did. Starting off by putting my wig cap on because I did decide to wear wigs with all of these looks. That's obviously optional. I got this green one from Etsy, but you don't have to wear a wig. You can rock your natural hair if it's super last minute and just go off with the makeup. Then I'm just beginning to trace out the mask with an eye pencil. I started out with this beige ColourPop one, but then I switched to a white one because this was just way too similar to my skin tone. And I'm just using the picture to reference kind of where things should go on my face. I'm using my natural bone structure to kind of adjust my own features, but 
yeah, basically just look at the picture and try and replicate it on your face. It's, that's all there is to it. If I were to do this again, I would probably um, place the upper lip a little bit closer to the bottom of my nostrils because I noticed at the end that the teeth, the top teeth were a little bit shorter than the bottom teeth. But that's just me being picky. And using a pencil like this really allows you to kind of rub it off really easily if you make a mistake like I just did there. And then moving on to the teeth, which is probably the hardest part, but it just takes patience. And I just rounded out the root of the tooth and made tried to make the teeth look extra long like a creepy joker would you know it just takes patience so take your time with it and don't be afraid to wipe off the pencil and try again if it looks messy but you guys got this you could probably do it better than i can now going in with this mayron makeup pro face paint palette i'm taking the black shade this palette's bomb i used it for all the looks today i'm just going to use that black shade to outline the whole mask everywhere that we have the white and this is a lot harder to rub off so make sure that you are only outlining the permanent stuff that you know that's how you want it to look because it's a lot harder to rub off if you make a mistake but take your time with it and the trick is patience and a steady hand to make sure you're getting nice fine lines now using that same black paint i'm gonna black out my jawline to kind of give the illusion that my jawline shape is different like the joker you know and moving on to the same face palette this time i'm using white and we're gonna just fill in all the areas of the mask that are white so my chin and basically everywhere and don't stress if you don't have this face paint palette or any face paint you can get creative with it and use your other makeup for the black you can use black eyeliner for the white you can use white eyeliner or eyeshadow people will still get the gist of it but using this is just gonna make it way more la long lasting and less likely to smudge next i'm going in with the dark red and we're gonna fill in the gums of our jokester it's a real dark red you know maybe he doesn't brush his teeth we don't know but i'm also going to use this to define my little clown nose situation Next, moving on to the lighter red in the palette, I am gonna fill in the lips of our jokester. Using a small, really pointy, defined detailing brush will make it a lot easier to get these tricky little places, so make sure you keep in mind the type of tools that you're using. Now going back in with my brush, just dipped a little bit in black, but not too much, and I'm gonna be shading in the entire mask to make it look more dimensional, and in all the crevices where it's supposed to look like my skin is folding or like the mask is smiling, and adding just a little bit more detail and texture. If I had to go back, I would do way more um, shading in, especially on like the corners of the mouth, things like that, but it was so late and I had two other looks to do, so your girl rushed through these, not gonna lie. And now I'm adding this blue shade for a final touch, doing upside down little triangles under my eyes for an extra clown-like look. And that's it for this jokester mask. She's spooky. She's ready to be a menace and it looks dope. This Kermit little headband here was super easy to make. I found a DIY tutorial from Miss Andrea Garcia. So I'll link that down below if you guys wanna make your own headband, but let's move on to the makeup. I'm doing the same thing as the first one, just tracing out with a white eye pencil first, tracing out Kermit's mouth, his tongue. I literally just Googled a picture of Kermit the Frog and tried to just replicate his mouth. There's a lot less detail in this one, so it's a lot easier than the jokester. And going in with the black paint, it's the same kind of process. Now just defining and going over all the white traced areas. Now we're ready to fill in. Going in with the darker pink, I decided to kind of trace out the tongue dark pink, but then later on I used black to trace it out. But now I'm filling in with the light pink from the palette and the tongue was really easy. The trick is really getting the shape of the tongue right first with the white eye pencil and then it's easy to fill it on in, but it's a lot easier than the teeth because there's way less Less smaller spaces and yeah moving on I tried to like do a shadow situation but then I ended up not liking it so I scrapped that now using the dark red shade from the palette I'm gonna just start filling in the inside of his mouth just stay inside of the lines kids that's all you got to do it's just like coloring back in preschool very easy next step I'm using the green shade the light green shade and I'm just filling in the majority of the mask at this point Now going in with the darker green shade, I'm using this to kind of create the brim of his mouth. And at first I only had it at the corner, but I decided to bring the brim all the way around the mouth so it looked more 3D and just had more dimension to it. 
And then I went back in with the black paint on a defining detailing brush just to outline the brim of his mouth and make it more noticeable. Now I'm just doing some shading. I wanted to make a wide nose kind of illusion. So I'm doing a little bit of contouring around my nose. I'm adding some shading around the brim of the mouth and back in with the black paint. Now I'm doing the blackout situation around my jaw. You really get the full effect of this blackout situation if you have black hair or a black wig on or it's in the dark because then you're less likely to notice that it's just black paint and it'll just look like you don't have a jaw there you know and this is where I decided to go back in with the black and just outline the tongue to make it a little bit cleaner and perfect it obviously and that is the final Kermit look she looks bomb and ready to spill some tea <laughs> Wiped off my makeup before the last look. My skin is raw and not having it. It literally hurt so bad, you guys. I had paint in my nose. Look at that. Anything for you guys, though. Anything for you. I just switched up my wig. We got the black Bellamy um, synthetic wig, wig, so it wasn't too expensive. They actually were having a sale, so I threw this on my head. I don't even know how to do wigs, but I think it looks fine. And now just tracing out again, you guys know the deal by now, tracing out the nose. It's kind of like a skull nose. Pretend it's like a rotten tooth. And the jaggedy mouth is super easy. You can literally just freehand it or just reference a jack-o'-lantern picture like I did. All you got to do is just make sure the triangles or the jaggedy mouth is going in different sizes, different ways. Some are longer than others. Some are fatter than others. And if you make a mistake, it's really easy. Just smudge it off and try again. And now I'm taking the black paint and we're just going straight straight to filling in the mouth. This look is probably the easiest from all three of them. You're just working with straight linear lines and it's not um, as complex. You're only having basically two shades on your face and you don't even need paint. Use some eyeliner and some eyeshadow or even a liquid lipstick for the orange part and you're Gucci. So perfect last minute Halloween mask. Now taking the orange paint and basically filling in everywhere else on the mask. I kind of forgot to do the jawline part of the mask, but that's okay. I'll outline that with uh, black paint later. Just be very careful to avoid getting the orange on your black mouth. That's probably why I only did half of the mouth. It was probably smarter to start with the orange. But now I'm finishing up the rest of the mouth. This is a pitch black paint, so it looks so good. It literally looks like I don't have a mouth, like lips, you know what I'm saying? And was really easy to do after you trace everything out you just have to fill it in so that's what I'm doing with the nose filling it in with the black paint and the final step was just to do the outline of the mask so I'm doing that around my eyes and around the sides of my face and down my jawline I just used some makeup wipes to wipe up the excess orange but there we go she's a jack-o-lantern and she's spooky as ever <laughs> And there we have it, three last minute Halloween makeup mask ideas that you can do. And it probably goes from most difficult to easiest. The jokester being the harder one and then the jack-o'-lantern probably being the easiest, but all three look super sick. Make sure you're tagging me if you try any of these out this Halloween and I hope you guys have a spooky one. Stay safe, I love you all so much. Click here to subscribe to my channel and up here to check out my eyeshadow palette with VH Cosmetics and these are the other videos of mine that you, uh, excuse me, I just burp. You have to watch. Go watch them. Okay, love you. Bye.